Hi, my name is Chris Benninghoff. I am from Ohio. I am a Republican and I have been a Republican my entire life. Um, to give you a background on who I am, I am a certified public accountant. Um, I am a certified fraud examiner. I am a Christian and I am a husband and a father of two small girls, most importantly. Um, this coming November, I will be voting for Joe Biden. And I will be voting for Joe Biden because he has three things that our current administration lacks. He is a good person, he is a Christian, and he has a plan, not just for coronavirus, but everything in general. Um, to give you some area of my expertise, as a CPA, you can imagine I am a fiscal conservative. Uh, Donald Trump is not a fiscal conservative. Donald Trump is not a Republican. That is one of the keys to being a Republican, is being a fiscal conservative. Um, as a fiscal conservative, you do not file for bankruptcy multiple times, which Donald Trump did prior to becoming the president. Donald Trump has also raised our national debt by $6.2 trillion. Even prior to COVID, he had raised our national debt by $3.1 trillion, which had him on pace to be the second worst president behind Barack Obama in regards to raising our national debt. With COVID and his disastrous response to it, we are now on pace to have the largest national debt from any president if he were to go another four years. As a CFE, you are taught to look for fraud in, a, in certain ways. There are, there's what's called a fraud triangle, and the fraud triangle is opportunity, pressure, and rationalization. With those, when those three things are present, there is a very good probability that you will find fraud. If we look at Donald Trump, opportunity. Not only does he have more opportunity than anybody else in the world as the president of the United States, but he has placed people into positions that allow him to do things that normal people can't do. Rationalization. As a narcissist, clinically diagnosed even by his niece, Donald Trump rationalizes doing things that most people don't rationalize doing. And the third thing is pressure. Donald Trump has pressure because he has over $400 million in personal guaranteed loans that he needs to pay back or at least rene renegotiate within the next four years. That is a huge amount of pressure, which sets him up to fulfill all three areas of the fraud triangle. Therefore, I'm assuming he's embezzling a lot of funds that he's getting from his campaign, which is what's happening to the majority of his money. The third thing is I am a Christian. Donald Trump pretends to be a pro-life Christian. Donald Trump is not pro-life. Not only are there people from his past life who have said that he makes fun of it and that he's actually not pro-life when it comes to the time before birth, but he is not pro-life after birth. He doesn't care if you live or die during the coronavirus. He might as well just come out and say, and he has in a roundabout way, that herd immunity is the way that he would like to go. Pro-life people actually care when people die. Pro-life people do not abandon allies and allow them to die. Pro-life people do not put children in cages and separate them from their families, no matter who those people are. The fourth thing is a father of two small girls. I see the way that he treats women. I see the way that he treats female reporters when they actually challenge him. He is a misogynist. Uh, Olivia Troy said she had never been more aware of her looks than under the Donald Trump administration. I do not want to have to explain to my daughters why I was okay with someone like that leading our country. Donald Trump is not a Christian. He just plays one on TV.